Hey guys and welcome back to another more with Moro's video. Today's video as you guys can see is going to be a Halloween decorating video. Now before we even jump into this video I know I'm showing you guys some of the decorations that I am going to be using which everything will be of course linked down below. I need to know right now in the comments down below do you decorate for Halloween? I feel like Halloween was one of those holidays that nobody really used to decorate for. Maybe I'm wrong. I could be wrong. Maybe I just was not aware. But I feel like recently it has become more and more popular, which I love. I actually really, really love Halloween. I love all holidays, to be honest. But I do love Halloween because it's just a fun holiday to dress up all the fun and spooky things. I know it's not for everybody. I know not everybody decorates for Halloween and that is okay too. If you wanna leave that in the comments down below, go right ahead as well. But we are just gonna go ahead and jump right into this video. So like I was saying before, I did get a few new decorations, but a majority of the decorations that you guys will see in this video are going to be repeated <laughs> decorations. I know, gasp, I clutch your pearls. But I am just not one of those people anymore that will go and spend a whole bunch of money on decorations all over again when I can just reuse the ones that I have had before because they're still good decorations. And I just like to, you guys know, my trick is I just switch things up every single year so it's not always the same. Um, so I did get a few new things that I wanted to decorate with, which you guys will see and we'll talk about. Um, but I love these stick on bats. I know they're really popular. Everybody loves these bats, but I mean, come on, who doesn't? They're cheap. You can get them on Amazon. You can pretty much put them anywhere. You can put them outside on your door. I have seen people even put them on their fireplace. I went ahead and decorated both of the mirrors in our house on the downstairs, which was in the entryway and then also in the dining room, which you guys will see here in a second, but they're just fun and cute. And that's why I love them so much. I feel like there is an art to putting up these bats for them to be proportionate because I'm like constantly adjusting them. I feel like that doesn't look right either. You like it? Aria says she thinks it looks good, but I'm like, I, I don't know. I feel like something needs to go right here, right there, right there maybe, or right here, maybe right there. But that's the same size, <laughs> you guys. I think it's just me being like very particular. <laughs> You think it looks good? Maybe right here? We'll put one right there. But, ah! I'm gonna have to get a new sticky. So speaking of there being an art to those bats, I feel like there's an art to these cobwebs. Like they seem so simple when you think about it. Like you just put the cobwebs on bushes or greenery or stems or whatever you're putting them on, but they have an art to them as well. Like they're way more complicated than you think. <laughs> like, and also a little goes a long way. I will say that. Um, but actually Aria helped out a lot with these Halloween decorations um, so you guys will see she decorated the bushes outside with all the cobwebs and she did an amazing job I should have just let her do all the cobwebs because she did really really well um, but like I said reusing a lot of the decorations actually we had a Halloween party a few years ago I think I did a whole video about it I'm pretty sure I did. You guys will have to go back and watch that if you are doing or hosting a Halloween party to get a whole bunch of ideas because that party was so much fun. I definitely wanna do one if not this year. Probably not this year, but maybe next year. Um, but anyways, I just ended up reusing a whole bunch of decorations that I got for that party. And this is another one of those, these signs. I absolutely love it. It is so cute. And actually a lot of these decorations, I don't think you can find anymore because it's been a few years, but a majority of them did come from Target. If you guys are on the hunt for some Halloween decorations, definitely check out Target. They always have really cute stuff. Um, but like I said, Aria decorated a majority of the bushes outside with the cobwebs. We got the fog machine out, make sure it is working. We actually don't use it until trick or treat or the day of Halloween. We'll set it out for trick or treaters, but uh, yeah, just setting everything out, making sure everything still works. Thank you. 
So this was a new decoration that I got this year from Amazon. They are basically floating candles. And I think I originally saw this idea on Pinterest, which is where I get a majority of my ideas. Um, but you just take fishing line, like so, very cheap and expensive. And I just used command hooks and put them on, well, I didn't Frank did this, but he put it on the ceiling, tied up the candle to the hook with the fishing line, and basically it is floating candles over our entryway. You could basically do this anywhere. I've seen people do this in our di their dining room or even above their fireplace. Do it anywhere, we just chose the entryway and once it's nighttime when you turn them on, it literally looks like they are floating candles. It is so cool. All right guys, so update on the Halloween decorations because now we are on day two. I know, her heart has been so excited. She's like been asking, when's it gonna be fall yet? When's it gonna be fall? Because she knows that oh, Halloween it. is coming. <laughs> okay, so you guys saw we did the floating candles and I'll make sure to leave everything linked down below. I just realized we lost a bat. What happened to this bat? Uh-oh, we're about to lose this one too. Ah! So I have to, oh, here it is right here. These stickies must not be that sticky. So put that bat on there. Harlow just turned on the lights. It comes with a little remote. Show them. That's cool. So we can turn it off and on. We just gotta make sure we don't lose the remote. That way we can always turn it on and off. That one goes to the candle outside. So I'll show you guys that here in a minute because I decorated the front porch. I'll get to the front porch in a little bit because I didn't film myself doing that because I just did a few things out there, but I'll show you what I did do. But you guys did see that I added the cobwebs to these stems. I added some like little spiders in there too. And I added this candlestick holder. I think I got this a few years ago when we had our Halloween party. So then I just added some candlesticks in it and then our lovely skull here. And then I added this black scraggly dead glittery tree right here. Actually I have two of those. That's what I decorated the Halloween party. I've just been reusing our Halloween decorations from our party a few years ago and then you guys saw the bat we added our sign to the door which i'm not really happy about how it looks because i feel like it could i want it kind of right here but i don't know how to go about doing that but it does turn on i'll have to we're going to definitely show you guys all the halloween decorations how at night how i'll turn that off for now there's a button back there so let me go ahead and show you guys the front porch so i did get this new mat from target it says hey there pumpkin and then i had this lantern here this whole time but i did add a black candle to it harlow do you have the remote for it do you want to turn it on yeah. go get the remote um i did get these baskets for my mom's from Michael's and then I we did go to Lowe's. Oh my gosh, there's Luna's hair all in it. We did go to Lowe's and we got a few pumpkins. So all of the pumpkins that you guys see, we got from Lowe's. I do wanna get like the different colored one, like the pink and the green stacking ones. So we haven't got those yet. Oh yeah, let's turn on our light. It's supposed to be like one of those flickering ones. All right, now I'll try it, Harlow. Try it now. Turn it off. These little tombstones, these actually light up, but I think we need to replace the batteries on those. Um, I've had those for a few years as well. So that one says, stay scary. That one says, I'll be back. And then that one says, rip, rest in peace. So I just need to change the batteries. And then Aria and her friend actually put cobwebs all over the bushes. Aria did this all herself, this you guys. Spider. All of this spider. herself. I know. So actually that spider, Oh, and the skull in the yard too. Um, so this spider is actually gonna go up there. So that's the rest of the Halloween decorations that I need to do. Oh, I forgot about those. So I'm gonna put some lights around here and the spider up there, witch's hats I think up here, and then bats by the other mirror. What? The smoke. Oh, the fog machine, that's right. We do have a fog machine. We just have to be careful with this because it if you do it too much, it looks like our house is on fire. And I don't want the neighbors to get worried. But I also want to add some bats. Let me show you guys that I have in the entryway. I am also going to add to this wall and mirror as well.
So I got these witches hats or witch hats off of Amazon and it came with, oh, there we go. It came with some fishing line. So I'm assuming you just tie the top. It didn't have like any kind of like loop or anything. And we actually already have, I don't know if you guys are able to see, we already have hooks up here from when we hung up previous decorations. So I'm thinking we'll just like stagger them because it looks like it's already staggered anyways and hang up the hats that way. Where are you going, buddy? I hear you. Oh wait, that one might need to be... That's a little too close. Yeah. So the other new decoration that I decided to do this year was the floating witch's hat, which again, I got these off of Amazon. And actually this set or what I got came with its own fishing line anyways. And we just did the same thing as the floating candles, just use the command hooks and just place them in the entryway. You could also do this in your foyer basically anywhere for Halloween parties. And now that everything is done, I'm gonna give you guys an overview of how everything turned out. I thought I filmed myself putting those lights around the door, but for some, whatever reason, either A, I lost the footage, or B, I never turned it on to begin with. But I did add some lights around our door, and I just love the witch's hat especially at night when it's dark it, they just look like they are floating there it is so cool just like the floating candles which you guys will see in a second and then i did add a little extra lights that were from the lights around the door and that lantern and you guys can see how all of the decorations turned out once the lights are off i lit the candles i turn the floating candles on i turn all the lights on to give more of a spooky effect and i just love how everything turned out this makes me super excited for halloween and i hope that this video gave you guys some decoration inspiration or some ideas for halloween i will definitely be sure to link like i said everything down below in the description i just want to say thank you guys so 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 much for watching i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and i will see you guys in our next video bye guys